Okay, I've had this before, so the first bite is yours, okay? Open up real, real big. Hello and welcome. Amigos, today I'm gonna to be making a recipe that I was making on our YouTube story time. If you don't know how to get to the YouTube story time, you click my picture right below and it's gonna take you straight there. If it's blinking, it means that I've already posted something. So, this recipe is coming from something I showed you guys on there and what is that recipe? It is a deconstructed albondiga style fried rice. So if you're interested in making this particular recipe, come join me. Set your pan on a medium heat and add about one tablespoon of oil. Next, we're gonna go ahead and saute our onions and our garlic for about a minute and a half too. Ooh, the instant aroma when you add garlic and onions. Ooh, yeah. It smells like Thanksgiving, baby. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can, I can start to feel that. Yeah. You guys excited? Maybe it's just us here. I know, I think it's, no? Everybody here is a foodie. Us too, Maria and me, and, my, and the other Maria are probably the only ones that are like, oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> We have, a, we have a few other ladies too. Guys, she's forgetting about you. You guys better call her out. <laughs> really? No. I take, it, I take it back, friends. Do I not. I love them so much. <laughs> How dare you? After about two minutes, we're going to go ahead and add our ground beef, and then we're going to add our seasoning, okay? Our seasoning contains cumin, chicken bouillon, and oregano. Mexican oregano. It's Mexican oregano. We're gonna mix all these ingredients and let them cook for about two minutes before we add our next ingredient. Next, we're gonna add our chopped potatoes. They're gonna cook quickly because they're chopped nice and small. So I'm gonna add it with, along with our cup of water, okay? Okay, once you've mixed all your ingredients, you're gonna go ahead and add your tomatoes, okay? You can add them right now, or you can add them when you were sauteing your uh, onions and garlic. It's gonna be up to you, it still works the same. You just wanna incorporate that nice, delicious, sweet flavor, that sweet tartness it gives while we're cooking our potatoes. Okay, friends, it's been about eight minutes, and now I'm gonna go ahead and add our veggies. We're gonna add our Anaheim pepper, our carrots, and our zucchini. Beautiful. It does. It's gonna taste beautiful too. Yeah, it's so so good. It smells delicious. It's colorful. Yay! I'm gonna continue to cook this for about three minutes just until our zucchinis are a little bit softer because those cook quickly even after we turn this off. They continue to cook. So we're just gonna wait three minutes and then we're gonna add our final touches. We are ready to finalize this dish. Who's ready? I'm ready. All right. I just had a taste, it was amazing. Like <laughs> she did. This, this right here on its own is delicious if you're interested. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my pre-cooked rice, okay? You really have mastered the art of making rice. Thank you, I can make short grain, long grain, I can make any kind of rice. Mm -hmm. Pretty much got it, nice and fluffy. Well, except for sticky rice. <laughs> well, it's I meant can, to be I, sticky. Hey, I had to learn my way with that rice, but I think, I think it's okay. And the wonderful part of this dish is that you can add about as much rice as you want. I think I have like uh, two, two and a half cups cooked. Okay, once you mix your rice, you're gonna go ahead and add your onions and your cilantro. Set your pan on a low heat, because everything's already cooked. We just gotta warm that rice up with the um, mixture that we have going on. And 
And if you guys want to know how to make this even better, add a little bit of the Views chili oil. And the birria chili oil on this is to die for. But not tanto, but you know what I mean. All right, friends. Everything in here is cooked. As soon as your rice is warmed up with everything, you are set. We're going to serve this and we're going to get a tasting. You ready for tasting? I'm ready. Yay! As always, Views Club and Bell Notification Squad, Cloud and I are wishing you the best. And on that one, make sure you're looking at the story time so that I can show you guys what I cook on my day to day aside from the recipes here. And on that one, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Adios! Okay, I've had this before, so the first bite is yours, okay? Open up real, real big. I know you guys like it that I treat you like adults. There is no airplane. Unless you want it, make sure to let me know in the comments. I will zoom my way to it. <laughs> You'll zoom your way into their mouth? Yeah. And their heart? And, and your heart, of course. I hope you guys aren't blowing on anybody else's food. Not right now. <laughs> Guys, we're still self-quarantined together. Not one fight between us sisters. We're, we're having good. a great time. <laughs> if anything, Cloud is keeping me sane. My baby's not being able out to go out is a lot to handle, but I'm keeping him busy with that cosmic yoga. <laughs> we're having so much fun. Hope you guys are too. I'm excited to see how many of you come back and let me know that this is gonna be a go-to dish because Sometimes we just don't have time to be making the bolitas for the albondigas. It tastes just like albondigas, but without the broth. Yeah, it's delicious. I hope you guys are excited about it. And I have a lot of dishes that I make like this, but I don't know, you guys haven't been asking me for much lately. You think you're being understanding, you're so sweet. Mm -hmm, you guys are, but ask away. <laughs> I'll bring it. Mm, I have something to say. What? What I wanted to say is, what do you guys want to see for our 400K celebration? Would you like a Q&A? We can do a few questions, maybe do a cook with me, um, or do you guys want one of my secret recipes? And I have an oil ready for you guys. It's not spicy. <laughs> so let me know in the comments. Yeah. This rice is so fluffy, it's just falling everywhere. <laughs>